Weapons being found on a school campus is a concern, of course, for parents and for school districts. A 15 year old boy died in November after another student stabbed him in Southeast Raleigh Magnet High School. There's been criticism about what Wake County Schools is doing to keep students safe. The Charlotte Mecklenburg School District has also dealt with safety issues on campuses and has invested millions to make schools safer here. WBTV's Faith Alford is on your side digging deeper into what CMS is doing and Faith, how effective it's been for students. That's right, Mary and Naya, every year more and more weapons are being found on school campuses. You know, this has become a major issue as we all know. CMS at one point also saw a spike and they've invested over the year and a half to implement new protocols to address this issue. Uh, we went from 31 firearms in the 21-22 school year. Last school year, we had seven firearms. CMS seeing a big difference after making changes following several incidents involving weapons on campuses. In 2018, a student was shot and killed inside Butler High School. In 2021, a student fired shots in the parking lot of West Charlotte High. We had a firearm problem in 21-22. We had to find something specific to solve that issue. Brian Schultz is chief operations officer. He's been with the district for almost a decade. Part of his job focuses on school security at all CMS campuses. He, along with other school leaders, have been working with student advocates like Malachi Thompson to create solutions. The district spent millions to install metal detectors and surveillance systems at every high school. They also brought in extra staff and created an anonymous tip line. It makes me feel happy when I walk into a building and I see um, you know the tools that we have in place at our disposal more than the tools the people very unfortunate that we have these circumstances within this whole in, within the whole world that students don't feel safe in their environments what I can say about CMS is that we're they're doing the step they're taking the steps necessary to allow and make our students feel safe Thompson has become a voice for students meeting with the superintendent Dr. Crystal Hill throughout the school year to discuss serious topics like school safety what I've loved about it these past couple of years is creating relationships with people that I never knew I was gonna create relationships with like with our mayor and our governor, et cetera. So I think it's been a wonderful opportunity. It's had its challenges. CMS says it's found success with its changes. Only two firearms have been found on campuses this year. Other districts across the country taking notice. They say 30 have visited in the past year to learn from CMS. The part of that that is important to me is that's helping students in other districts uh, feel safe. That's helping staff in other districts feel safe. Schultz tells me Wake County Public School System is not one of those districts that has reached out. Unlike CMS, Wake County Schools has not added metal detectors to all of its high school campuses. I reached out several times to Wake County leaders about the deadly stabbing at Southeast Raleigh High School and what security measures they have in place. I received no response. Schultz and Thompson tell me they hope school leaders and parents in Wake County can come together to figure out how to make schools there safer. Out of tragedy sometimes come some really, really positive things. Coming to school and feeling safe in your environment, feeling safe in the classroom, feeling safe in the cafeteria, feeling safe in the gym is one of those things that help students come back to school. Absolutely, and also Thompson tells me that the superintendent hosts Zoom calls with the student advocates and listens to their concerns. One of the recent concerns a student brought to the superintendent was the fact they wanted extra, to see extra security on school campuses. Thompson tells me he's hopeful because Dr. Hill is always receptive to those concerns. Live in Charlotte, Faith Alford, WBTV, on your side.